God is consistent. In fact, to show how consistent God is, is that he doesn't begin anything until he has actually finished it. Hello friend, welcome to our YouTube series on the promises of God. You can also catch this series on Anchor.fm, Spotify or Amazon Music. Throughout this series, we will delve into the following topics. Why you should trust God when he makes a promise. How to identify the promises of God in the Bible. Key facts about God's promises. And we'll also talk about the nature and scope of the promises of God. I promise you this series is going to be an exciting one. Because one morning I just decided to study the promises of God. So many times we get overwhelmed because we think things are not working out well and we forget that there is a promise made to us. So when we find out this promise and delve into the scope and depth of this promise, we find solace, we find strength in just knowing this. I'm delighted to have you join us on this series and I'm confident that it will be a source of inspiration and blessing to you. Alright guys, let's jump into the series. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back. So let me start by saying this. Although the promises of God are littered throughout scripture, they are present throughout scripture, they are only effective to us if we find them and believe them personally. For you to find them, you have to search for them. The promises are given to us to help us live with assurance and courage. You know in the world where we live in, there are a lot of things going on that can take away your courage and your confidence. For example, you went to get a phone and they gave you a promise that this phone is going to serve you for five years. All the promise did was give you an assurance and confidence that you can use the phone throughout five years without that phone having any issue. So if the phone has an issue, you can take it back to the manufacturers and say, okay, this is, you told me this phone was going to last for five years, but it didn't. So I'm bringing it back to you. So that's what the promises of God does for us. It gives us assurance and it gives us courage to go through our lives here on earth. It is important to remember that the strength of any promise lies in the ability of the one who made it. So for you to believe a promise and hold on to that promise even when things are not looking like it will go in your favor is to know the one who made that promise. So if somebody of very high standard says I can protect you and you will be sure that nothing will go wrong. You can hold on to that because of the person that said it. But if your friend said I will protect you, you can look at him and wonder we are we are both at the same level of strength here, so you can't even protect me. If I can't protect myself, you actually cannot protect me. Alright, guys, my name is Amichi Victor OKK, and I want to officially welcome you to my YouTube channel. So, like I said, we'll be talking about the promises of God. And on today's series, that's the part one, we'll be looking at why we should trust God when He makes a promise. Alright, we'll be looking at why we should trust God when He gives us or makes a promise. All right, so if you're new to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe to this channel, drop a comment, like the video so that we can take it from there and God will bless you very much. Number one reason why we should trust God when he makes a promise is because he says what he means and he means what he says. Hebrews chapter 4 for verse 12 to 13 says, God means what he says, what he says goes. His powerful word is sharp as sodium scalpel, getting through everything where Either doubt or defense, laying us open to listen and obey. Nothing and no one can resist God's word. We cannot get away from it no matter what. And that's the uh, message translation. So God means what he says and he says what he means. Just as we saw in Hebrews chapter 4 from verse 12 to 13. That's one reason why we should trust God when he says something. Because he doesn't joke around. I mean, I joke a lot. So I can say something and I'll say, no, I was only joking. But God doesn't do that. For everything he says to you he meant it everything you can imagine everything you can remember that god spoke or said to you he wasn't joking he meant every word he said if he said he's going to be with you till the end of time he meant it he would keep to it and he's going to be with you so like i said the first reason is because he means what he says and he only says what he means all right so the second reason why we should trust him when he makes a promise is because god is constant constant means unchanging through time and space you know, you can trust somebody and when you come the next time, the person is not the same person they were. So I promised I was going to give you a job because I was the CEO or I am the CEO of a particular company and you relied on that. But after two years, I lost my position as the CEO of that company and maybe I was fired or something and I couldn't fulfill that promise to give you a job when you finish school.
people. The reason is because I wasn't constant. That position is not constant. I, I'm a human. I, I, I won't be there forever. But you can trust God. We can trust God because God is constant. He doesn't change in time and space. He doesn't lose his position. He doesn't lose his power or his ability to fulfill his promise. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 says, I am the Lord, I change it not. Even when our circumstances change, God does not change. Nothing can change who God is. Remember I said the efficacy of a promise made is in the power of the one who made that promise. So if you must hold on to a promise, be sure that the person who gave you that promise will not change. The person will not become lesser, smaller, or incapable to fulfill that promise. That's the second reason why we should trust God when he makes a promise. So the third reason why we should trust God is because God is consistent. Being consistent is different from being constant. God doesn't begin something he hasn't finished. Consistency is your ability to continue something until the very end. That's what I mean is different from being constant. God is consistent. In fact, to show how consistent God is, is that he doesn't begin anything until he has actually finished it. So we have a problem sometimes because we don't finish something. We often say we can't finish something before we even start it, but we actually can't. So we start something without counting the cost. The Bible says don't build a house without counting the cost. When you count the cost of building the house, what you did was that you actually finished it in your mind before you actually started it. All right. So he cannot start a thing and not complete it. That's God. God cannot start a thing and not complete it. He can't leave a project half finished. First Thessalonians 5.24 says, Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. God is that faithful. He can't call you and leave you halfway. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 says, Being confident of this very thing, that he which began a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Until the day it is perfected. That is what it means, the day of Jesus Christ. So God is consistent. All right. That's why you should trust him. Because if he has set this thing in motion, if he has said, I will do this and he has started it, be rest assured that he will finish it. Yes, be rest assured. Hello friend, welcome to our YouTube series on the promises of God. You can also catch this series on Anchor.fm, Spotify or Amazon Music. Throughout this series, we will delve into the following topics. Why you should trust God when he makes a promise. How to identify the promises of God in the Bible. Key facts about God's promises. And we'll also talk about the nature and scope of the promises of God. I promise you this series is going to be an exciting one. Because one morning I just decided to study the promises promises of God. So many times we get overwhelmed because we think things are not working out well and we forget that there is a promise made to us. So when we find out this promise and delve into the scope and depth of this promise, we find solace, we find strength in just knowing this. I'm delighted to have you join us on this series and I'm confident that it will be a source of inspiration and blessing to you. Alright guys, let's jump into the series. <laughs> Alright, so the fourth reason why we should trust God is because God is faithful. Let's see Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26. It says, Let us hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. Faithfulness is your ability to commit to something until it is finished, even when it doesn't look so good. That is what it means. So even when things are not going well, God still commits to you. So one reason why we should trust God is because God is full of faith. He believes that anything is possible. He believes that this thing can be done. So he cannot make a promise and tomorrow starts doubting that, ah, I'm not sure this thing can happen anymore. No. He's full of faith. Even until the last day, God still believes that it can be done. In fact, he would do anything to make it happen. He would do anything to make it happen. So that's one reason you should trust him because he is faithful. He doesn't doubt your ability. He believes in you. If he says something, he knows it's going to happen. He's not doubting. Uh, let's, uh, okay, let me just say it because I, I think think it's going to happen. No, he is full of faith. All right, so the fifth reason why we should trust God is because he has a plan. God is not trying to figure out what to do with your life as you may be doing. No, God is not trying to figure out what to do with your life.
life. He has a plan. He's not clueless about you. He has a plan written out in his word. You should trust somebody who has a plan. Follow who no road, people would say. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the plan I have for you. They are of good and not of evil. God has a plan. You want to trust someone who knows what he's doing, who has a plan, a laid out plan for you. So when somebody who has a plan promises you that this thing is going to go this way, you can trust him. You really can trust him. So God has a plan. He's not confused. He's not clueless. He is not panicking, thinking of what to do now that this thing is like this. No, it is all part of his plan for you. So the sixth reason why we should trust God is because he has proven himself. All through scripture, you see where God proved himself. Things happened the way he said them. He made a promise and fulfilled it. There is no person that God promised something and he didn't fulfill his part. God always fulfills his promise. God is not new to making a promise and not keeping it. No, he makes a promise and he keeps it. He has a track record of keeping his word. Ask Abraham, Joseph, David, Joshua, Gideon, ask the apostle, ask the woman at the well, ask the sick man at the pool of Bethesda. You can even ask me. God is faithful. He has proven himself. Every time he promised, he came through. And that's enough reason for you to trust him. Really, I think that's enough reason for you to trust him. Right, so the seventh and the final reason why we should trust God is because he never forgets a promise. Ah, he doesn't. He doesn't. Even if it takes 430 years, just like the Israelites, he, he, won't, he will not, he doesn't forget a promise. If he said he will do it, he remembers and he will do it. God's word is his bond and regardless of how much time passes, the depth of his commitment never waves. It remains fresh in his mind regardless of if his people remembers it or not. It remains fresh in God's mind. So I want you to know that God doesn't forget the promise and that's one reason why you can also trust him. So yeah, there you have it. I just give you seven reasons why you should trust God when he makes a promise. I hope that was really helpful. I want you to remember the things God has said and remember these qualities I just gave you. He doesn't forget. He's faithful. He's consistent. He's constant. He doesn't change. If you remember all of this, it would help you build your faith and trust more in God and that he's going to fulfill his promise concerning you. All right, guys, thank you so much. If this video has blessed you, kindly subscribe, like, and also share. Drop a comment. All right, drop a comment. Let me know what part of this video uh, meant so much to you. Drop a comment and I'll reply as soon as possible. All right, thank you. I'll see you in the part two of The Promises of God. Bye.